Um, what I like most about using Classworks for instruction is that it's individualized for every single student. Um, when you are a middle school teacher and you teach 100 plus students at times, it's really hard to differentiate for everyone. And Classworks is there and it's an individual plan for every single student so you know that every kid is getting a chance to fill in their gaps. Um, I like learning about it and working on it in Classworks because it's it's like when we're in class it's complicated to like learn it but then when we're on classworks it's like a one-on-one. -on -one. Classworks is different because of the data that it provides for you. Um, you get individual data on a student and it also kind of runs itself if you let it. You They take a benchmark or there's also other various assessments that they can take and from there you're pretty much set and every child can work through their learning plan or you can also control it yourself. I really like the flexibility that it gives you because you can work straight from the ILP that they give you or you can go ahead and build an ILP for a student if you would like. Um, everybody gets um, different strands and they give you, the teacher gives you the ones you need more work on and it helps you improve in many things because sometimes you really didn't get it while the teacher showed you in class and it's like having more studying for that subject while many other people have different subjects. I really have enjoyed using Classworks. We've come a long way. We started with a universal screener um, and this year we're using the benchmark. Um, but differentiating is so big and this has just made it so much easier from a teacher standpoint. I no longer have to spend hours and hours and hours trying to plan six different things for a student to do in a group or I don't have to pull these three kids and say you need to be working on this part but you five don't need that so you're gonna go work over here. Their ILP does all that for me and it's just there and I know that every single kid is getting their gaps filled. Um, since my students have been using Classworks, I have seen a, a big increase in their motivation um, and in their confidence, especially with my lower level students. It's really nice to be introducing a new topic where normally they would just kind of be looking at you and then you'll say, oh, I've seen that in Classworks before. And it's nice, even though they may not have gotten the full concept, but they have some prior knowledge. And just because they've seen it before makes them feel really good about it and they are like, ready to learn more about it because they feel like they can do it because they know a little bit already. Well, I get excited because um, I think about how she's letting us um, improve in our certain skill that she's teaching us and also practice before a test or anything else. We stress to the students that Classworks is here to help you grow as a learner and to fill in those gaps so when they can see the progress they're making in Classworks and they can compare that to how their scores have grown on their Scholastic Math Inventory it really they it kind of reinforces hey this really is working because all of my data is growing not just Classworks I'm growing all around as a student. I think that she's giving us another chance to either practice for a test or giving us an opportunity to study or saying, okay, if you don't, if you're not particularly good in this skill, then here's your chance to get better at it. I have used the results to do parent conferences, especially at the beginning of the year, right after we took our file benchmark. Um, it was really great for my higher level kids to sit down with their parents and say, um, yes, your student is taking a math to course this year. However, if you look at their individualized learning plan, they have gaps in level six stats that we really need to fill in. And it was really good for the higher level parents and their students to say like, I've made it this far and yes, I've advanced, but there's some stuff I've missed that I really need to focus on. So I was able to show to the parents, this is going to be their focus for the next however many weeks. We're going to focus this. And yes, you may not think that solving equations is the level you're at, but you're missing something there according to this individualized learning plan. So we have to fill in that gap so that you are ready to move on. It was a really good buy-in for the parents to see my student is very smart, but I, they still got to keep working hard because there are gaps. I think EA is more practice to work on uh, my things I need to work out my kinks on. 
sides. Every thumb has a color that represents a strand. So we have geometry, operations, stats, and algebra. And every time a student completes a strand on their ILP, they get a thumbs up beside their name and it's posted in the hall for the whole school to see. Um, it really motivates the kids because they love competition, especially in eighth grade. So they like to see that their thumb is going up. And they also like to compare, well, I have six thumbs in math, but I only have two in language arts. And so that makes them think about well, what am I doing differently within the content that I need to switch and do for both. Like when you get a thumbs up, I think you feel really good. You feel really good. I feel really good. Mm -hmm. um, because you accomplish something and like they're actually recognizing it. The teachers actually recognize our work and they put it out in the public, like of the school, so everybody can see. And then also, it's like competition, because you want to, um, well, yeah, not really be better than the other people, like accomplish more, be on top, you know, that level up there. The thumbs up board motivates me to achieve higher than my friends, and it makes a whole, like, competition game.